Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the track in Ontario, California. In fact, when we arrived in Ontario, we felt that the starting field for this California 500 would be very much the same as that for the Memorial Day Classic. Many of the drivers use Ontario as a testing grounds for Indianapolis. Some consider it a preview of the Indy 500. A.J. Foyt is considered by many to be the man to beat as all crews ready their cars for this sixth annual running of the California 500. The championship cars from USAC invade this track only once each year, and it's a favorite with many of the drivers. The oval here at Ontario Motor Speedway is two and a half miles long, smooth, wide, and fast. 33 cars will take the green flag, and most of these same drivers will comprise the starting field on the Memorial Day weekend at Indianapolis. AJ had the fastest qualifying time of 196.549 miles per hour in the Coyote Point Gilmore Special. He'll start on the pole. Bobby Unser in car 48 and Eagle Offie will have the second spot. And rounding out the first row will be Al Unser, driving the Viceroy Special, number four. In the second row, it's car 40, the Sin Mast Special, driven by Wally Dallenbach. In the Gatorade Special, number two, the driver is Johnny Rutherford. In the Eagle Offie, number 11, is Dwayne Carter. In the third row, it's 98, Steve Krisloff. Number six, Bill Vukovic. And car 78, Jimmy Carruthers. Followed by Gordy Johncock, Bobby Allison, and John Martin. All cars are holding position well as they rev them up onto the front chute. There's the green. The scramble for position is on. Boyd blasts off the pole to take command in turn one. Al Unser follows him for second. John Cock is third with Bobby Unser fourth. At the end of the first lap, with all the parts hot and hauling, A.J. Foyt is running away. In just one lap, Al Unser has become a distant second. Bob Harkey got squirrely in turn one, dropped down on the inside and parked it. His crew pushed him back to the garage. Then on the back chute, Bill Scott blows an engine in the Webster Eagle Offie, number 76. This brings out the first yellow flag of the day. The cleanup crews were on the track instantly. A few cars pitted. Suddenly the green was out again, and A.J. Foyt and company were down for the restart. Al Unser in the Viceroy Special is still holding down on the second place spot, but now Johnny Rutherford has moved into third. Bobby Unser in the blue number 48 is fourth. On the 17th lap, Rick Muther in car 10 came into the pits with a clutch slipping badly. He drove it right behind the wall and out of the race. with Johnny Parsons aboard makes a quick stop for right side rubber and fuel. The threatening clouds that hung over the speedway all day finally dropped a few showers. Pancho Carter in car 11 was the first to feel the effect of a slippery surface as he spun off the track down onto the infield grass. He's okay and so is the car. The yellow flag is out quickly while the fans cover up and drivers head for the pits.
And with all cars serviced and back on the track, the restart was complete. This time, car two, Johnny Rutherford is the leader, but Bobby Unser is behind him and charging hard. Foyt is running third. Suddenly, Rutherford begins smoking. He slows down, drops onto the apron, and Unser screams into the front spot. Out of the fourth turn, Johnny dives down toward pit row, and an anxious crew await the Gatorade special. On the track, Bobby Unser has his ego off. He wound out all the way in an effort to stretch the pack. But a dogged A.J. stays with him down every foot of the raceway. That's all she wrote for Johnny Rutherford. His crew discovered a blown bearing and pushed the car behind the wall out of the race. the front chute, Foyt drops into the low groove, punches the Coyote, moves up alongside Unser, and in turn one, regains his lead. On the 185th lap, Wally Dallenbach in the Sinmast car, number 40, develops engine trouble and parks it on the infield grass. By the time the white flag appears, Foyt has lapped every car on the track at least once. The Coyote has clearly outclassed all competition. Here he is, out of the fourth turn, AJ's car is just a blur of red as he streaks down the front chute and under the checkered flag. Winner of the sixth annual California 500. Bobby Unser takes home the second place money. Steve Krisloff finishes third. A huge bank of photographers and press greet A.J. on his arrival into Victory Lane. The performance of his car today was absolutely superb. And the driver? Well, A.J. Foyt, win, lose, or draw, is always a champion.